It's like, these are the last words she will ever sing and I will sing them with great justice. <laughs> everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer Glatzofer, a musical theatre performer and a voice teacher. And today I will be returning to Postmodern Jukebox, this time featuring Morgan James. If you haven't seen my previous reaction to a Postmodern Jukebox cover, go check up here. It is a Hayley Reinhardt cover. It was wonderful. Many of you suggested I go over and visit Morgan James. Now I have heard Morgan James before, not this song though. I'm gonna be reacting to and analyzing her performance of Dream On, an Aerosmith cover. But I have listened to her and Hayley Reinhardt's and someone else, um, all that bass cover. I remember watching that. But this, who knows what's gonna happen. <laughs> I mean you do because I'm guessing you've seen it. If you haven't however seen the original I have left the link in the description below for you to go and check out because I will be stopping and talking about the vocals over here so if you're not into that then that link is for you. Do go over and check me out on Patreon as well your support means so so much to me. I post behind the scene clips over there, bloopers, a working through a song video, it's a lot of fun. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell button to be notified anytime I post. Let's go. Love their arrangements. There is so much happening to her vocals already. She's sewing so much in just four lines, I think it was, wasn't it? Like she's sewing so much color and freedom in these four first sentences. She has this darker kind of approach to it as well, but at the same time, everything is very, very articulated so that she's creating the most out of all these words. It's like, these are the last words she will ever sing and I will sing them with great justice. It's kind of the <laughs> feeling that I'm getting with this, which I am here for. It's like as well, everything is obviously sung right where it's meant to be sung but nothing is showing in her body and face that she's preparing for things even though things are being prepared you know it's not like we're going finding a note she has the note prepared in her body already in her space but body wise physical wise let's just look at this little line here it's kind of like she's just the past has got so connected to her speaking voice it's lovely the past is gone yes. yeah. Isn't that the way? She's got such a dark vowel on the go, or oh, it's not like she, on, the, on that pay, a little bit of a spread, but here completely contrasting. Nose goes, it's almost kind of round, rounded, elongated still, up at the back, not a little bit of a nasal kind of quality in there as well, I think, because of kind of how <laughs> oval the shape is. Oh, we're getting into shapes now with singing. Go with me. <laughs> Nose. Oh, it's so like, ah, oh, lifted up here. I love that chuck away of her voice as well. Nose. Yeah, I know nobody knows where it comes or where it goes. I know it's everybody's sin. You got to lose to know how to win. Oh, yeah, she goes right at the end of the words. On 
on that long lunge, she's kind of doing this a little bit, lunge, she, again, it's kind of going towards a little bit more of a uh kind of shape, she's not really opening her mouth in these words, lunge, because that's not the sound that she wants to after, she wants a little bit more of a smaller compact kind of sound, and that's what she's getting, it's so jazz-like, and it's kind of like she's imitating like a brass instrument almost. Then learn from fools and from sages. You know it's true. All the things come down to you. Sing with me, sing for the years, sing for the laughter, sing for the tears. Sing with me just for today. Maybe tomorrow the good love take you away. That was a full chest belt here now. Like, what? what note are we? We're on a B. So more than capable to be a chest sound here, chest dominant. We can feel that because there's a little bit of a lean up, getting that cry cord involved. On that A kind of vowel as well, we're showing a little bit of teeth as well. It's really hard to talk like this. <laughs> but that teeth is up there, pinching those cheeks up a little bit, getting that brightness up, sending that sound diagonally kind of up is where I feel it anyway. And that's kind of the direction. Look at her arms as well on this whole repeated section. Dream on. That whole kind of dream on is on that C. So here we have to be kind of blending things a little bit. Otherwise, because we're so repeated on those, uh, on that note, it can get a little bit pulled tight. And then we've got that big belt coming up as well. So it's like, ah, ha, 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 I'm up here for a long time. So we need to be supported. And her arms, her body, they're, they're engaged. Everything is there. She's still kind of getting this kind of vowel shape that she showed before but just with a little bit more of support underneath but now with the added dynamic choice of it being a little bit louder she needs that support which she has Another, just to talk about the last note again, another way that we can tell that it was heavily chest dominant and it didn't go into our softer side, into the mix, didn't have that kind of quality in there, is that there was no vibrato. It was a straight tone and she chucks it, that how we come, how we go off of that note on the offset, it's just a what? Like it breaks off. There's not a way goes into that vibrato, which is where, uh, which, we feel when we get a little bit lighter, where we bring in that mixed voice, that vibrato comes into play a little bit. A little tip for you. <laughs> yes. Oh, sorry. So we've started from, from an mm vocalization. Then we switched to an mm or an n, mm, the mouth basically opened. We lost that um, mm anchor point. It opened to an n or an ng. Both nasalized sounds, nasal sounds, the meaning that the breath is coming through our nose because the airway is <laughs> it's blocked from our mouth. But it's so soft, so much control. Sorry, I know where she's going into now, but E, we were beautifully in this softer kind of place in her head voice territory. Then we went E, yeah, opening up the, uh, dropping the jaw, opening up to a bit more of an open vowel here on that air vowel, grabbing hold of that chest connection, going wonderfully through the mix here. E, yeah, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> So, 
I could hear before without the vibrato coming in that we were kind of a little bit more in a mixed territory. We weren't reaching up like this. It was a little bit more placed, a little bit more on top. And then that lovely vibrato came in, meaning that we did encourage a little bit more of a mixed voice here. Still chest dominant, still a belt, because remember a belt is a style. I get so passionate about this. But, oh, let's listen to that again. That build up, that growl, everything. Notice as well, we might go into it again. I'm not sure what this arrangement is, but it looks like it is. Dream on, dream, eh, that jaw drops rather than dream, which gets pinched and maybe favors a little bit of a lighter sound. We are wanting to find that beautiful mix here and feel connected, get that connected full voice sound. Dream on, it's lovely. <laughs> We feel it, <laughs> wow, right, right up into our head voice here now, where there is kind of, we're not mixing really at all here, we are feeling that resisted, uh, there's resistance in the vocal folds, sure, to get that clear sound, but there isn't kind of a pull from underneath, it is wonderfully in our head voice, and again on this ear kind of vowel, to get us uh, lovely up there, and our arms are lovely up, it's beautiful. <laughs> Right, she's sung through that dip thong there, away on that eval, getting that breath quality in there. It is not a default to go into a breath quality, right? I talk a lot about clear vocal, uh, clear uh, tones, resisting the vocal folds, getting that clear tone. Singing with a breath-like quality isn't bad. You can for sure do that. We are showing, you know, Morgan's showing here, it, it's effective, it, it shows us something else. But if that's always what's happening and it's the default, then it can get a little bit problematic because we can dry out the vocal folds and cause irritation and pain. But here it just works so, so well. And that beautiful, you know, we her head voice is beautifully developed. Her chest voice is beautifully, beautifully developed. Therefore, she can offer a wide kind of many different options and colors in her mixed voice because these two areas are really, really strong. And she's proven that because of that lovely dream sound and then coming so connected in that middle section. <sighs> sing for the tears. So soft. Sing with me if just no. for today. Maybe tomorrow the good Lord will take you. Oh, that was incredible. I mean, as I mentioned right at the end, she has a wide palette to choose from and color from and create many different colors of her voice because she is so well developed in both areas, in both registers. Meaning that the choices she can choose 
in the middle part of her voice what blends she wants, what kind of sounds that she's after, she can pick and choose. <laughs> I particularly liked how strong the articulation was and how, you know, just complete the words were. We felt every single kind of, uh, the diction was there. Every single word was there. The feeling of every single word was there. It was a joy to watch. And just the passion with her arms, I'm here for it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please go ahead and click that subscribe button, the bell button and the thumbs up button. And do go over and check me out on Patreon as well. Thank you so much to those of you who are there already. Your support means so, so much to me. I will see you very soon. Bye.